the center in the main campus in Havoli. The university offers several opportunities to students studying here and therefore we encourage students of the world to come to study at UB to develop into well-rounded citizens of the world. For achievement and choice, we say choose the University of Botswana. The University of Botswana, a center of academic excellence in Africa and the world. Thank you. Uh, greetings to researchers. My name is Meshak. I'm going to take you through to through the University of Botswana uh, admissions requirements. Uh, University of Botswana offers a number of degrees, diplomas, di diplomas, and in uh, disciplines uh, such as medicine, science, engineering and technology, uh, information technology, just to mention a few. And the University of Botswana requires you uh, to have uh, completed your high school or your senior school certificate. In your case, is your S5 in Seychelles, with a minimum of six subjects, not below grade E. And English language is a qualifying subject. Information on uh, the requirements and the programs is available on our website. And for you to to be able to apply, uh, applications are done online through a study link on our website. And prospective applicants are, are required to select two programs. And after selecting two programs, you also prepare your educational documents to upload after completing your online applications. Applications are, are now open for the August 21 uh, enrollment or intake. And the closing date is the 31st of March uh, 2021. Thank you very much. School of Graduate Studies, University of Botswana. The University of Botswana, UB, has offered graduate level programs since 1983. And in 1986, UB management took an informed decision to establish the School of Graduate Studies with a mandate to coordinate all aspects of graduate student programs. The postgraduate programs offered at the University of Botswana are found in all the UB faculties as indicated in the UB website. Requirements. To qualify for enrollment into a master's program, the student should have a relevant first degree with at least second class, second division, 2-2. Two, two. Duration for a master's program for full-time is two years, while for part-time is three years. Things for other programs not science-related. Full-time student can register for 12 credits in a semester at 100 US dollars per credit. Part-time student can register for a maximum of nine credits per semester and a minimum of six credits per semester. Fees for science and engineering programs. Full-time student can register for 12 credits in a semester at 140 US dollars per credit. Total number of credits for most of the master's programs is 48 credits. And Phil, Master of Philosophy. It is charged as master's and it is research-based. PhD for others, that is non-science and technology programs, full-time and part-time cost about 43 US dollars per credit. PhD for science and engineering, full-time and part-time cost 55 US dollars per credit. To complete PhD, the student should have a total of 72 credits. There is a payment plan of four months installments per semester which can be done online. Application fee is 35 US dollars. Applications for masters start in February up to April every year and they can be done online. Academic year commences in August. Applications for MPhil PhD continuously run throughout the year and they can be done online as well. 
These OUB postgraduate programs are one of the lowest in the region. For quality assurance purposes, dissertation and thesis are assessed by both internal and external examiners. The University of Botswana boasts of qualified faculty members, mostly PhD holders and professors. You can contact us on email address socrashub.ac.bw. Welcome to the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. The Faculty of Engineering and Technology is old, as old as the Botswana Polytechnic and it was incorporated into the University of Botswana in 1996 as the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. We have five departments, the Department of Architecture and Planning, the Department of Civil Engineering, the Department of Electrical Engineering, the Department of Industrial Design and Technology, the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Out of the um, five departments, we offer 11 undergraduate programs. For the engineering programs, we offer Bachelor of Engineering Civil, Electrical, Electronic, Industrial, and Mechanical Engineering. For the built environment, we offer Bachelor of Architecture, Bachelor of Science Real Estate, and Bachelor of Science Urban and Regional Planning. For the design programs, we offer Bachelor of Design and Technology Education and Bachelor of Industrial Design. The faculty strives to offer competitive and internationally recognized programs. To this end, we strive for accreditation. The engineering programs are accredited to the Engineering, to the EXA, the engineering Council of Southern Africa, which is signatory to the Washington Accord. The um, built environment, they are accredited to the Royal Town Planning Institute, and the design programs are accredited to the Institute of Engineering Design. Thank you, and we look forward to, to receiving you. I'm the Dean of Health Sciences. I'd like to talk to you briefly about what we do in Faculty of Health Sciences. Uh, in Faculty of Health Sciences, we have four schools. We have School of Nursing, we have School of Allied Health Professions, and we also have the School of um, Pharmacy and the School of Public Health. Uh, in the School of Nursing, we offer both undergraduate as well as specialization training. On the undergraduate, we are offering Bachelor of Nursing Science. Bachelor of Nursing Science caters for school leavers but it also recognizes prior learning. People who hold a diploma in nursing and are registered nurses can apply for a program. If you are coming directly from school, you to take your, your four years to complete our BNS program. But if you have prior learning and you've got a diploma, it will take you two years to complete our program. In the School of Nursing also, we do have a number of specializations. And I would just like to read them to you very quickly so that you have a full appreciation. Uh, we have a Master of Nursing Science in Adult Gerontology, Master of Nursing Science Critical Care Nursing, Master of Nursing Science Child and Adolescent Health, Master of Nursing Science Community Health, Master of Nursing Science Family Nurse Practitioner, Master of Nursing Science Midwifery, Master of Nursing Science Psychiatric Mental Health, Master of Nursing Science Trauma and Emergency. And we are currently finalizing the introduction of another specialization, Master of Nursing Science, Adult in Gerontology, Oncology, and Palliative Care. Uh, our master's program takes two years to complete if you are registered as a full-time student, but if you are a part-time student, it, takes us, it will take you three years to complete with us. Upon completion of all the nursing programs, you are registrable with uh, Nursing and Midwifery Council of Botswana. Uh, moving on to the School of Pharmacy, we do offer a Bachelor of Pharmacy degree. The Bachelor of Pharmacy degree is a five-year degree program. Uh, you can come directly into the program and do it in four years if you hold an um, uh, advanced level uh, qualification, uh, which is, uh, or if you don't have that, you can do five years. So we bring you here after, five, uh, after then you do one year of, of science, 
and thereafter you proceed to do your bachelor of pharmacy program. In the School of Allied Health Professions, we have two undergraduate programs. We have medical lab science program, and we also have our cytotechnology and digital technology programs. Both the programs are four and a half years long. They also take school leavers, and but the school leavers would have to do one year of science, and then thereafter, then they tra transfer to uh, to their uh, required programs or chosen programs, which is medical lab sciences or cytotechnology and digital technology sciences. These two programs are very popular in the region. Uh, they have attracted students from uh, Zambia, they have attracted students from Lesotho, Swaziland, and Namibia, and upon qualification, you also can register in these uh, uh, jurisdictions. Uh, finally, we also have the School of Public Health, where we offer a degree in environmental health. I look forward to receiving you, and I look forward to uh, addressing some of the concerns that you might have. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I welcome to the Faculty of Medicine. I'm going to give you a brief presentation on the programs that the faculty here in Botswana offers. Um, we have one undergraduate uh, program, which is the Bachelor of Medicine in Bachelor of Surgery, which is MBBS in, in short, as the medical medical degree. It's a five-year program, uh, integrated, which means that uh, our students get to see patients from uh, first year. And it's also community-based, which means uh, students spend a large part of their uh, training time out in the community, not only in the uh, big urban centers and big hospitals. The program is quite um, mature. It's accredited by the Botswana Health Professions Council and also by the World Federation of Medical Education. And for one to come in, we don't take uh, students straight from, uh, from high school. You need to have done either uh, advanced level or international baccalaureate. Uh, if you don't have those in your in your setting, you need to have been to a university, done uh, uh, science one year of, of, of science, and you need the four subjects, which is the three sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics, and you also need mathematics as well. The uh, program is, uh, is quite popular, and we get students from uh, all around the world, and uh, our graduates, you'll find them in the US, uh, the UK, um, India and uh, uh, other parts of uh, other parts of the world. We also have quite a number of um, master of medicine programs. These are programs that turn medical practitioners into general specialists. At the moment, we have eleven uh, such programs. We have uh, a master of medicine program in anesthesia, medical care, medicine, uh, anatomical pathology, clinical pathology, emergency medicine, family medicine, inter uh, internal medicine. Obstetrics and gynecology, uh, public health, pediatrics, uh, psychiatry, and, and surgery. These are all four years long, uh, except surgery, which is a five-year uh, program. These are full-time, which means that you, if you get enrolled into the programs, you need to get to have uh, financial support from from somewhere else because you can't work. This will be studying full-time. Uh, for one to qualify to go into the program, you need to be a doctor first and foremost, and you need to have done either a year or two years of medical internship and uh, you need to have done two years post internship and then you'll be entered into the program. We have one uh, last uh, program which is the MPhil uh, PhD in Biomedical Sciences. This is research based, it's offered on a part time basis and you need to have uh, um, a bachelor's degree in the health science discipline like nursing, pharmacy, medical lab and others. It's a four year program and uh, look forward to receiving you in the faculty. Thank you. Hello from the University of Botswana. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Science and I'm going to give you an overview of uh, the programs we offer in the Faculty of Science. The Faculty of Science uh, has seven departments, biological sciences, chemistry, computer science, environmental science, uh, geology, math, and physics. The faculty offer both undergraduate and postgraduate programs in these disciplines. The programs are designed not only to attract local students, but international students from other countries all over the globe. The overarching objective of the faculty of science is to train students to uh, be responsible members of the global society through their education and proficiency in science. 
The structure of the Bachelor of Science degree allows students to either enroll for a single major or a double major degree program. Uh, the duration of the degree program is uh, normally eight semester. Uh, the faculty also offers um, interfaculty degree programs such as mathematics of finance and computer with finance. In semester one and two at, or at level 100, the faculty offers a firm foundation in the basic sciences uh, for its students and those that transfer to other faculties such as health sciences, medicine and engineering. At this level, each student takes courses in mathematics and at least two other subjects from biology, chemistry and physics, except those that are enrolled in interfaculty degree programs. Science, by its nature, is a practical subject, and to support this reality, the Faculty of Science has acquired and continues to acquire specialized and centralized research facilities and instruments, such as NMR, uh, electron scanning microscope, mass spec, and XRD machines. These facilities and equipment support teaching at the undergraduate level and research at the postgraduate level. At the postgraduate level, the Faculty of Science offers a two years Master's of Science programs and three years PhD programs. The Master's program consists of taught components and uh, the PhD programs are by research only. For more information on the Faculty of Science, please visit the University of Botswana website. Uh, I sincerely hope that you'll consider studying at the Faculty of Science UB. Uh, if you do, you'll find a vibrant science society uh, that would ensure that by the time you leave the Botswana, you have a professional collection all over the world. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Ed Sessions. I'm from the Office of International Education and Partnerships. Office of International Education and Op um, Partnerships operate, operates under the UB policy of internationalization. There are three objectives to expand internationalization of student and staff exchanges, to expand internationalization research cooperation, and to enhance internationalization of the curricula. Our services are to provide comprehensive and informative welcome and pre-departure orientations. We work closely with the Department of Student Welfare to provide accommodation for international students. We facilitate the applications of residence permit, waivers, and visas. We assist students in identifying appropriate courses and programs. We provide study, study group study abroad programs during our winter sessions. We work closely with the Department of Academic Services on the provision of sending of transcripts and certificates to students who have completed. How do you apply for a residence waiver? The, the, the applications are processed after the admission and proof of academic registration. A waiver is only open for students who are here for six months or they're on exchange. And the requirements are that you should have a copy of UB admission letter. You should also have a copy of sponsorship letter and recent bank statements of your sponsor. We need also a certified passport pages containing your names, date of birth, and expiry date. And we also need, you also need a cover letter from the Office of International Education and Partnership. How do you apply for a residence permit? You should bring a copy of UB admission letter and proof of, 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 of registration. You should also bring a copy of sponsorship letter and recent bank statements of your sponsor. We also need you to bring along a pass, one passport photo. We need a certified passport page containing date of birth, uh, number, passport number and expiry date, and this should be certified at your embassy. We also need you to bring along a certified birth certificate and for the residence permit, you'll need to pay an amount of 150 US dollars. You'll also have to come to our office, international office, to collect a cover letter. You also need a copy of UB financial statement that shows that indeed you have you have paid, paid which is which, can, which is done online, and this can be obtained from our UB finance office from from student data department. Thank you very much, and welcome to the international office. Greetings there in Seychelles. My name is Tafile Matevejana. Now we're taking you through the facilities that we have here at the University of Botswana. You've been listening to the academic programs that the university offers, uh, but on top of that, we also have our facilities that are 
um, facilitate uh, social and recreational activities here that you will enjoy if you uh, when you make uh, a choice of com coming to join us here. Some of the facilities that we have is um, one of the biggest campus indoor sports center here in the country with a sitting capacity of 3,500 people. It also houses an open arena of a sitting capacity of 2,000 2, people. We also have a gymnasium that is housed in, in the campus indoor sports center with six studios that offer different programs uh, such as aerobics and weightlifting. We also have uh, an 8,000 seat uh, stadium with an uh, eight lane field track. We have an amphitheater, we have outdoor courts, we have an Olymp Olympic sized swimming pool which is heated, we have a softball diamond, we have a conference center, a hotel, uh, we also have a teaching hospital, we also have a campus clinic, and one of the biggest uh, libraries, world class, in the country here. We have media studios that are for both radio and television. Uh, these facilities that we continue to invest in make it possible for students to enjoy a vast array of programs and sporting activities. I'll give examples of the sporting activities that a student can take part in. This will include athletics, football, five-a-side football, squash, lawn tennis, table tennis, cricket, badminton, aerobics, dance, volleyball, softball, basketball, rugby, handball, netball, karate, taekwondo, boxing, swimming. We also do traditional activities. And last but not least, weight and powerlifting. I hope you do come, in, come join us and enjoy all these. Thank you.